time, space, memory, and emotion. In a summer at Grandpa's, these elements create a bonding relationship between the film and the audience. Those cicadas remind us of our own Grandpa's backyard. We feel these characters' actions in our soul. The beauty of the sound accompanying every scene of this film creates a memory of the countryside and remind us of when we were younger and had the energy to adventure the free world. However, despite the nostalgic point of view, I see Summer at Grandpa's as a tragedy reality trick. Yes, I understand from its childhood perspective, the film persuades the audience to let go of the past. But going back also creates a sentimental feeling, a feeling that you can't forget. In our past actions, we may have done something that is right or wrong, but in the end, you can't fix your past. Ho Xiao Xian is a brilliant director who brings a slice of life and memory to his work. His film gives us a nostalgic or euphoric feeling. The film The Green Green Grass of Home is another film that reminds us of home. For me personally, it reminds me of Junju. When I was watching the film, I was distracted by the location color and sound. I couldn't focus on the film because my memory kept surfacing. The actors' performances felt realistic, almost as if they weren't acting, like I was watching a documentary. This is a credit to Ho's realism. He once said, the main thing for the actors is to forget the camera. They must act as if they are working in a documentary. Time is a crucial in summer at grandpa's. Time develops an emotional distance and healing without conflict or confession. The uncle and grandpa are fighting over the situation with uncle's affair. Grandpa breaks his bike and calls him names and doesn't wish to help him. But as time goes on, his father forgives him and welcomes him back. We also see kids playing, napping and swimming almost like they are killing time and time with Grandpa and Tung Tung or Hansu and Ting Ting. Their relationship gets stronger and stronger, and this time is almost like a healing without any conflict. <laughs> Tung Tung and his sister come from the city. At the beginning of the film, we get to see his school, but also the background of the school with its buildings and large colonial hospitals, where Tung Tung and Ting Ting go to see their mother. When arriving at Grandpa's house, we immediately see how the setting in the countryside is different. There aren't many buildings or highways. All we saw was natural green fields and small houses. It feels like a place to relax for its, for the children to forget about their problems. They can enjoy life like Tung Tung swimming in the lake and trading toys, or Ting Ting playing in nature and making new friends. Two different places with different feelings, and the city feels overcrowded and stressful. On the other hand, nature creates peace and relaxation. Memory is a essential element in summer at Grandpa's. It helps shape characters, their movements, their motivations, and their relationships. Memory can reveal a character's past experiences, shaping their personality, beliefs, and value. Hanzu is re represented as a Frankenstein monster in the film. To the children, she is a scary monster with rumors about her, but she is someone who has a heart and is gentle. Society treats her more like a monster, but Ting Ting sees her differently. 
She sees Hansu as a gentle woman who cares about her and the surroundings around her. Ting Ting and Hansu live in her memory and will continue to live there. In the end, Summer Grandpa's feels like a happy ending. But when I reflect on the ending, it makes me sad. Since Tung Tung is a 12 year old, this might be the end of the childhood adventures because Ting Ting is so young. This could be a memory that is forgotten and makes the ending bittersweet. <laughs>